Welcome to Midwest Sports Net. I'm Joey McWilliams, and on the summit today, I have the privilege to get to visit with the NCAA Division II Softball Championship head coach, Andrea Vaughn from Rogers State. Coach, final game of the series, as you all made quite a run, not only deep into the playoffs, but obviously you won the final game of the season. That was a 6-1 victory over Cal State Dominguez Hills in the title game. So let's just start right there. Congratulations on the championship and on that victory. Thank you. Uh, thank you so much. It's uh, It was a great run. Um, just really happy we could do this for our university and for our community. Uh, they were so supportive. Um, that was our goal was to bring this home for our town. And uh, that's what we did. And I just, I couldn't be more proud. And I had heard you say in that post-game press conference that this was something you saw from the outset this year. You were telling people, and not only that, this year, but uh, in in your time and in your tenure as the coach there, you all would win a national championship. Well, that's always been my vision for this program. When I took over the program, uh, you know, my first question to my staff was, why not Roger State? Um, and so I set out my goal my, it was a five-year goal, actually, and some of my seniors kind of laughed with me and said, well, we didn't do it in five, we did it in seven, and I said, I'll take whatever we can get, but, um, you know, we've been talking about this uh, since th these, these seniors that came back, um, especially Andrea Morales, Riley Delosier, and Taylee Redding, they were really the very first group um, where I was, in, in my mind, you know, this is going to be the turning point for this program. So they've been on this journey with me and along for this ride since they were freshmen and uh, done a lot of really great things for the program. And so just to see this come to fruition and to see our vision um, that we have worked on together has been pretty just surreal. And of course, you know, the Lord's hand was in it. Uh, did a lot of praying, uh, spoke a lot over our girls, just, um, you know, in, in decreeing over them what was at, at hand and, and stepping into their destiny. So we talked a lot about that. It's been a, it's been a crazy, uh, crazy ride, um, but it's been awesome. It sounds like it's been fun, and it's always fun when you win, especially that last game of the season sure. like you all did. <laughs> Speaking of that game, it's a title game. You make it to the championship series. It's a best two out of three. Uh, you wind up facing uh, Cal State, Dominguez Hills. You all were the five seed. They were the eight seed in this tournament. So, uh, you know, from a, at least – uh, the the seating perspective, maybe a couple of upsets along the way. I'm sure you guys didn't feel like there were any upsets because you came to win and and to play every game to win just that. But uh, Andrea Morales in the circle for you. She picks up the win in the final game. It was her 38th win of the season, but it was her fourth win during your five game run in the the World Series time. So uh, she she really did a fantastic job for you, giving up just the one run in that championship game, but a great season for Morales, also named the NFCA Pitcher of the Year. Yes. Um, Morales has been uh, the foundation of our success, and um, what she has done for this program uh, has just been really phenomenal to, to watch. Um, and especially, I've said this a lot about her uh, going into this postseason especially her fifth year, having her best year ever. Um, that just shows you the growth that she's had as a player. It shows you her work ethic. It's a testament to trying to get better every year. Um, teams are certainly always trying to figure out how can we beat Andrea Morales. And it has just uh, heightened her, um, a, her work ethic and determination. And uh, to go out uh, the champion that she is and to see – her receive all the accolades uh, that she has received has truly been a blessing and just so well deserved. Well, and you know what? When these seniors that you mentioned move on, the cupboard's not going to be bare for you by any stretch of the imagination. And, and you've got another round of, of good players coming in, like Abby Rogers, the MIAA Freshman of the Year. And she did a fantastic job for you this season in her first season as well. I don't know how she goes up from there. Uh, led the team in batting average and, and RBI and home run. I mean, you had the triple crown for your for your team individually, but in that championship game, two for three, and had what proved to be the, the game-winning two RBI single that proved to be the game winner in that game as well. So a, a fantastic season for Rodgers. Yes, and uh, 
certainly has fulfilled everything that I thought she would coming in as a freshman. Um, and in her exit meeting, the, the conversation that we're going to be having is the challenge will be um, to find ways to get better. Um, and how are we going to improve your game um, so that we can continue on this track of success that you've started? Uh, so certainly extremely pleased with the freshmen that came in, coupled with our returners. I knew it was going to be a dynamic uh, combination and uh, couldn't be more proud of, of all of our freshmen. Uh, they played key roles uh, in our success. We're talking with Coach Andrea Vaughn on the Summit today here on Midwest Sportsnet's YouTube channel, and, and we appreciate that. Please consider liking this video and subscribing to the channel. We talk about small college sports and more throughout the Midwest and beyond. And, and uh, Coach Vaughn, 58-8 and eight this year, your overall record 230-133-1. and 133 and one. Ties always amaze me in college softball. Yeah. Anyway, but uh, best record in – the program in school history and, and percentage wise, 878 this year. So it's just a, a great year overall. I want to ask you though, there, there was a, a bit of a rough spot in April. Now that's midpoint of the season starting to get toward that, that home stretch. And during that time, you, you lost five of eight games, including both games of a double header against an in-state rival and conference rival at, at uh, central Oklahoma but after that little rough spot, you went on to win 18, or excuse me, 19 of your last 20 games uh, on the way to a championship. So talk about that, and what do you all what do you all do at that point that then you're able to turn it around and make the rest of the season fantastic? Sure. Um, you know, as a coach, that you're always going to hit those bumps. Uh, you you hope that they come a little earlier. Uh, you kind of you have a vision of how you want your season to go start off hot and then you might hit a little dip trying to keep your head above water and then you want to you want to finish uh playing your best your best ball so when when it when we hit that dip um was a little nervous about the timing of it but you've just got to teach your athletes how to push through that and we talked so much about how to handle adversity how to stay in the right mindset um, how to clear your head and and to speak positive things over yourself, put yourself in positive situations, um, mentally visualize all of those things outside of the game. And you just got to push through uh, and you can't let your highs get too high. You can't let your lows get too low. We've just got to ride the storm and and push through. And that's what they did. Um, you know, this team has done everything that I've asked them to do. They've stayed committed to every um, thing that I've laid out before them, even outside of this game, to their health, to their mental um, uh, practices, um, just to their commitments uh, to each other, um, as far as how they're spending their free time. Um, and it, that's what it takes. It takes it takes all of it. And uh, they stuck with the process. They stayed uh, true to uh, the things that we talked about day in and day out, and they push through adversity. And, you know, that's what life is about. And, you know, we talk a lot about, you know, what they are learning through this, through this journey is going to carry them so much further in life into their next phase. It's going to make them great leaders. It's going to make them hard workers and learn how to fight for, for what they want. And uh, so, you know, just staying positive and staying in the right mindset and pushing through. Uh, that's what, that's what got us through. And of course they'll always have national champion by their right. name too. That's <laughs> something that uh, no one can ever take away from them. So that I'm sure that looks good on a resume, no matter what job or what field exactly. you're, you're heading into coach quite a run through the playoffs, uh, especially, you know, in the, in the world series, you all swept all five games in which you played there. I'm sure there were a lot of good memories along the way. Let me let me throw a couple of things out there. Not just the the title game and, and of course, the celebration at the end of that game, but game one of that series, you get a walk-off win, which uh, that, you know, leads you up and puts you in the position to go ahead and, and take the title home from there. Uh, in the Super Regional, you, you're able to get those two games back from Central Oklahoma, which, by the way, is a, a powerful softball program and, and national champion within the last decade, too. So that, I'm sure, was big, getting those two wins in the Super Regional to push on. And, and also in the World Series, uh, you get the victory over UT Tyler, the number one team in the country, and eliminate them. So, uh, you know, among those, maybe there's something else. Is there anything that stands out to you? 
certainly there are so many just great moments. I, I, I go back all the way to uh, the first game of the conference tournament um, and how uh, how that could have changed the trajectory of this course uh, going up against a very tough Missouri Southern team. Uh, we're the home team and we walk it off to win. And from there, it was like that just propelled us into this relentless pursuit that uh, we can go get this thing. And um, just continuing to have that mindset of never giving in, never backing down, no matter what, we don't care what the circumstance is, we're going to fight. And uh, so I go back to that moment. And then I also go back to um, playing Minnesota, Minnesota State, Mankato. We're the visiting team. They have the bases loaded. And I'm walking out to the mound thinking, God, Lord, this cannot be it. This cannot be it. And of course, you know, praying through that, but also just what am I going to say to my infield and my team in this moment? And uh, we talked in that moment and I looked at Andrea and I said, you go do what you do. And I said, and we'll go do what we do. And I said, this is what we prepare for day in and day out. We, this is how we practice. You guys have been in this situation day in and day out. So just go take care of business and let's get out of this. And they did. And uh, we had several moments where bases loaded. And I mean, just just gutsy defensive performances um, that helped get us to that next game. So uh, got a lot of great memories. And it, it's been fun as I've been able to relax a little bit to go back and, and relive you know, some of those moments. Well, I, and I'm going to I'm going to wrap up our time with a question that you may have already answered then, and I, I hope not to double up on it, but I do recall you saying in the, in the post-game press conference uh, and reading about it too, you know, you said the whole thing was mind-blowing. Now that's immediately following winning a championship. You've had a few days now, and, and to reflect just like on what you were talking about there, uh, how, how does it feel then and what's your perspective now as being a national champion? And, and this is so big not only for you, but I think also for the, the, the Roger State athletic department as a whole. I mean, it's a, this, this is a big win. It, it's huge. Um, it's, it's not only great for our university and great for our softball program. It's great for the state of Oklahoma. It's great for our conference. Uh, so many coaches within our conference reached out to me, uh, just proud um, of, of how we represented our tough and, and really good conference. And then same with our region. Um, I felt like our region uh, pairings were so tough. Some of the best pitchers in the nation uh, that we faced just in our regional tournament. And so a lot of those coaches reached out to me and uh, it's just, it feels so good to, to just represent them and uh, mostly just represent our state. And I think as, as the days pass, it just gets more and more um, oh, just puts into perspective what we really accomplished. And, and I told the girls the ripple effect that they're going to feel um, as the years come um, when they graduate and they come back and they get to see all that they accomplished for their great university, the doors that this could open um, for athletics at RSU um, and to kickstart some things. So just that they were a part of that and that they uh, opened those doors with what they did. Well, Coach, congratulations again. I love having the NCAA championship trophy in the picture and in the shot yes. here uh, <laughs> on Midwest Sportsnet. That's that's always a thrill to get to see. But uh, you guys earned it, and what a fantastic season. Again, 58-8 and eight this year. 19 of the last 20 games, you all came out on top. Final game of the season, championship. And you all are the 22 Division II NCAA champion. So, Coach, again, congratulations. And thank you so much for taking time with us today here on The Summit. Thank you again. The pleasure is all mine. I appreciate it. Wow.